They say that necessity is the mother of invention. It also helps to have uh, an active accounting forum with north of 3,500 members, all of whom are constantly posting questions and answering questions to help all of us figure out how to get through our day more easily, more efficiently, more quickly with constantly improving and better and better solutions to the problems that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. Penny Lane Wheeler Krull came in here about a week ago as of the time I'm recording this asking for just such a solution. And I identified with the problem because I go through the same thing. Penny offers a product which, when people purchase it, includes uh, some training time. In my own case, over here at schoolofanswers.com, I offer packages of sessions ranging from one hour all the way up to 20 hours in time. And up until now, what I've done is I've kept a separate log for each client so that I could share that with them and they can easily keep track of and at any given time they could know exactly how much time they have left. Now, a few people chimed in immediately on this post and started talking about, you know, recording the the uh, payment as a retainer and a liability and then actually applying that out to the invoicing when the actual trainings are done and we get that that's not what we're talking about here that tracks the dollars it doesn't track the quantity Penny was looking for a solution where she could quickly and easily and by quickly and easily I mean like in 10 seconds or less call up the name of a client and see exactly how many hours of time she owes them in the form of training and after taking a look because you'll see she posted it here in the thread at a sample of what she was working with I realized immediately I could definitely simplify it for her by just changing the layout. And then it hit me that I could create the perfect solution for exactly what she's looking for. Uh, I believed anyway. So what I did was I went to work, created it, and then provided it to her at no cost, of course, and she's the one who inspired it. And the, the good news is, here we are a week later, the day I'm recording this, and she chimes in and says, it's working great. I finally today got all of my clients transferred over to it. In the process, I found some errors on my previous tracking spreadsheet and in my QuickBooks. Simple, quick, and gives me all the info I need. Perfect. Mission accomplished. Let me show you what I created that we're talking about. And then you're going to have two options for how you can get this template should you want it for yourself. And if you can figure out how to create it, God bless you. Hopefully you can. So the first thing we're going to do is in this clients tab, we're going to start listing all our clients. You can certainly run a list report in QuickBooks or Xero or whatever you use. Get your client list and dump it in here if that's easier. Bottom line, you're going to put the clients in here and everything else that uses a client is going to be chosen based on what's here in this list. This ensures consistency. It ensures that we don't have typos, which of course a typo in this case would crash my formula and render the template worthless. So I put the infrastructure in here to help make sure that doesn't happen. Once you've got your clients set up in the client list over here in the actual log, you're going to choose from the drop down, right? So you're going to see all your clients show up in here based on what you populated in that first tab. As you can see, I've got some sample data. So if Shirley Jones purchases sessions or purchases a product that includes three and a half hours of sessions, that of course goes in as a positive number. When they use sessions, it goes in as a negative number. This column in most cases is probably not going to be that meaningful, but I thought it might be useful in some cases at least that you can get a quick look and see how much in terms of total time across all clients that you have. Next we have the balance check and this is where Penny Solution lies. So what I actually did here was I took the client list and I copied and pasted them right here into the balance check. Initially I was only going to give you one line in which you can choose from the drop down to see where that client's balance was at, but then I said why not give you the opportunity to list them all if you wanted to, right? So and you can even put people in here twice and it's still going to work and it's still going to get you the same exact result. So the formula is a simple sum if formula that basically checks up and down this log and and adds up all the pluses and all the minuses for whichever client you've selected here in the drop down. That's why the spelling is critically important. If I misspell it somewhere then it's not going to work. But the bottom line is if you're not trying to crash this and you use it properly and appropriately this gets you the exact solution that we're talking about. So as I mentioned, two ways you can get access to this. One is join schoolofbookkeeping.com if you're not already a student. If you're already a student, then head on over to the Excel templates area and you'll find this template among the others such that you can download it at no additional cost beyond your monthly subscription. If you're not a schoolofbookkeeping.com student, feel free to become one so that you can actually get access to this template amongst the many other myriad of resources that we have available to you in schoolofbookkeeping.com. 
If for whatever reason you're still not inclined to join schoolofbookkeeping.com, come right over here to schoolofanswers.com where you can pay one time to download this template and use it as much as you like. That, my friends, is my story, and I am sticking to it. As always, I hope you had some fun and learned something along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.